Hundreds of tourists were stranded at the Bali airport early in the week after Indonesia closed the airport of the holiday island following warning from Mount Agag volcano was raised to the top level four alert. <laughs> Bali's airport, the third busiest in the country, was closed for 24 hours, disrupting 445 flights and some 59,000 passengers due to the eruption warning and the presence of volcanic ash from Agung. November 25, 2087 were passengers affected. On 26, 7,108 passengers were affected. This number doesn't include passengers affected in Lombok International Airport, which was closed yesterday, November 26 evening. Ungurara is Bali's main international gateway and a hub for tourists traveling to Indonesian islands farther east. The airport is about 60 kilometers from the volcano. Authorities have warned that a major eruption is imminent and had ordered 100,000 residents living near the volcano to leave the area. Mount Agung's last eruption in 1963 killed more than 1,000 people and raised several villages while hurling out scores of hot ash and lava. The activity remains high and the volcanic ashes column has risen 3,000 meters above the mountain's crater and the ashes are blowing towards the west. In the night time, we are monitoring the glowing lava on the top of the crater. Though both eruptions were magmatic with molten or semi-molten rocks and solids, they have sent volcanic ash to a height of 9,144 meters above sea level. Some airlines were forced to cancel their flights bound for Australia or New Zealand. Frustrated tourists swam the airport saying there was no information prior to the closure and they do not know when they could fly. There is no information. We are on holiday so it doesn't matter. We don't know what's going to happen. We'll get back to the bar, have another drink. We don't know. We don't know what's going to happen, but get back to the bar, have another drink. I feel the Bali government is doing nothing to help the foreign tourists. There are thousands of people stranded here at the airport. They have to go to some other airport, and they are trying to do that. But the government or the authorities here are not helping. Five alternative airports in neighboring provinces have been prepared for airlines to divert inbound flights. Despite the flight disruption, not all tourists were upset. A handful of travelers made their way to the observatory post of Mount Agog to witness the eruption as smoke continues to bellow from the Roblin volcano. Local authorities have chartered some 100 coaches to commute stranded air passengers to local accommodation facilities.